I encourage my groups when I represent them to look at alternatives to acquisition for the very reason that it might not work out. One of the things I always emphasize is what's your exit plan if things don't work out? And if we're looking at exit plans, we're looking at what happens with a non-compete. Um, the hospital often when they acquire a practice will pay for the practice and then make a decision if it doesn't work out that you can no longer practice there because they paid for the practice and you have to move on. Those don't benefit patients, it doesn't benefit the community, it doesn't benefit anyone. So I encourage groups that I work with to look at the possibility of co-management agreements or service line management agreements. I think with respect to urology, if a hospital approached a large urology group and wanted to acquire them, I would suggest that there might be alternative options available. For example, the urology group rep are managing the service line of urology for the hospital, including all components of it, so that the, the urology group could remain independent, that way they could maintain their ancillary services, um, and they could get a feel for the relationship with the hospital. I don't think that selling to a hospital and being employed by the hospital is the only viable option.